Let me begin this video by saying how extremely disappointed I am in each and every one of you because not a single person on this channel notified me that on December 19th, Massively OP put out their Worst MMO Business Model Award. Nobody told me this happened because you don't read the site. <laughs> okay, well, let's. Uh, this is really delayed. I totally forgot about this. Uh, in... 20 in 2019 i believe star citizen and fallout 76 won the award do i need to even show you who won the award yes i do let's just go for it let's, here we go star citizen wins by 1400 votes which is uh coincidentally the number of people that actually just visit the site now let us take a look at why they believe a company which made 80 million dollars almost 80 million dollars in crowdfunding has the worst business model am i reading it right worst mmo business model what kind of bizarro world alternate universe must you live in to think that a company that made 40 million in 2017 35 um, 50 million in 2019, 80 million dollars in 2020 has a bad business model. I um, I'm so curious. I got to find out about this. Uh, this is gonna be painful. You guys got. I'm not doing this alone. I'm taking you with me, guys. We're going in. You ready? Here we go. Starting with Andy McAdams. Now, Andy McAdams says worst is going to be relative here, as I can't think of any that are especially heinous. Uh, okay, he's talking about Guild Wars 2, never mind. Here we go. <clears throat> journalist, gaming journalist, Andy McAdams, says this. But still, how many years has Star Citizen existed and still hasn't produced a launched game, yet still rakes in piles of money over pixel ships where the pixels don't actually exist yet? What a stupid and boring an overused take from reddit slash r slash gaming how many years does that go on for at which point do you think well you know i realized that in 2017 they only made uh, 35 million and uh, then they made 50 million and then they made 80 million well, uh, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I, as a journalist, missed something and should investigate the reason why. Uh, maybe. Uh, yeah, still rakes in pile of money. Yeah, Roberts should 100% be in Revendreth for a long, long time. Now, I am not a professional gaming journalist by any means. But when I read that line there, I was like, oh, Revendreth, what's that? I don't play World of Warcraft, by the way. I went and I googled that and I discovered that Revendreth is a realm with like spires and stuff in World of Warcraft. I now understand this reference. I took the three seconds it took to research why this was mentioned and to understand the reference. And I'm not a journalist. So you would think Andy McAdams as an actual journalist would say, how is it that the game uh, isn't launched but yet... 80 million dollars came in should i research no no let's move on brianna royce all right now brianna royce is actually the editor-in-chief of massively op and i do believe also a co-founder now uh brie over here you would think would have a better take but uh okay buckle up here we go as I type this, we are in week two of Star Citizen hyping a $600 ship. This is when the Perseus sale was taking place. It was a $600 ship being sold in concept phase, not flyable yet. So Bree is uh, basically saying it's $600 ship, not flyable yet. Correct? <laughs> All right, okay. Let me start from the beginning. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Bree, as I type this, we are in week two of Star Citizen typing a $600 ship that isn't flyable yet. This is shameful! CIG, you should be embarrassed to still be doing things like this. <laughs> you deserve this call out! I can see Chris Roberts 
wiping tears, wiping tears from his face with $80 million in his hand, just going, oh, what a horrible call out. Uh, Bree just called out Star Citizen for making $80 million. And he's saying a company that is growing on every metric imaginable has the worst business model in what bizarre alternate universe? I can't imagine what the financials at Massive OP must be like if they think that this is a bad business model. And uh, rising engagement, it's just a chairman's letter, all right? Beyond recording our best new player growth numbers ever in terms of daily engagement, we've continued to average 30,000 daily active users throughout the year, which is 70% increase over last year. Look what's going on here. This is a bad business model? This is bad? Should we continue? Oh, by the way, CIG, you've been called out. <laughs> it's shame, just so you know, guys. Hey, everyone, it's CIG. Uh, $80 million, shameful. These numbers here, shameful. This growth here, unique yearly active users, shameful. Average MAU, shameful. Quadrupling playtime. You should be very embarrassed, CIG. You should be embarrassed to still be doing things like this. You deserve this call out, regardless of how cool. Uh, uh, here's something I don't understand. Maybe you guys can explain this to me. So she's calling them out, saying how bad it is, regardless of how cool the game is in alpha and winds up being at the end. I don't get this. I, I, I sometimes feel that I'm the crazy one. Am I taking crazy pills? She's calling CRG for making $80 million and it doesn't matter how cool the game is, guys. If the game's pretty cool right now, yeah. But it doesn't matter how cool it is, you deserve this call out because you should be very embarrassed that you sold $80 million worth of ships. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I wanna understand it. I wanna understand where Bree's coming from on this. That's why I'm reaching out to you, Bree, on Twitter. You can feel free to reach out to me also. How is it a bad thing to sell a ship. I understand, listen, if 5, 10, 15 people bought this, uh, yeah, very embarrassing. But when you sell $80 million of pixels in one year, is it maybe you, Bree Royce, that doesn't understand something? And if you don't understand something, should you not maybe research it to understand it? That is just what I would do. I think that's what any normal person would do. If I don't understand why this is happening, I'm, I'm a gaming journalist and I'm looking, how is this happening? How is this company making more and more money and $80 million opening five studios, have five studios now uh, across the world? What am I missing maybe? That's what I would do. But I can't tell these people how to do their jobs. Uh, who else is making a call? Let's see. Chris Neal doesn't say anything. Uh, Elliot says, screw Star Citizen, nothing there, uh, nothing there. Tyler Edwards, here we go. Go away. Star Citizen, now and forever. Okay, Star Citizen has the worst business model now and forever again. Uh, Tyler, might I ask what you consider a successful business model? Because if this business model is the worst one ever, year after year, I am dying to know, Tyler, what your example of a good business model is. Show me another MMO in development that has made $80 million by selling pixel ships. Show me, all right? People are basically paying them. Oh God, this take. This is such a stupid take. Oh, this is like, yeah, I read this on Reddit on r slash gaming and this is the take I'm going to talk about. No, Tyler, no. Shame on you. Shame on you. All right, I'll explain why. Star Citizen now and forever, people are basically paying them not to make a game at this point. They've clearly clued in that they can make more money by selling dreams than a finished game. All right, genius. What does it take to finish a game? Keep in mind, we just saw Cyberpunk and the disaster came out of that. What does it take? How many years? How much money does it take to make a completed game? Answer me, geniuses. What does it take? I think we know from what we've seen in Cyberpunk. It takes at least eight years and at least $500 million to make a game and look what Cyberpunk came out with, right? So could you perhaps entertain the notion that it might take more than eight years and more than $350 million to make the game? Could you? 
But the the notion that you're paying them not to make the game, what he's getting at is uh, because they made $80 million, because CIG made $80 million last year, this means they don't have to make the game because people will just pay them. Nonsense. Absolute caca. Chara. Google that. This is why. Uh, When I talk to my in real life friends, my two IRL friends, (laughs) they ask, hey, How's Star Citizen going? I say, yeah, it's going well. It's going okay. And they go, is it out yet? I say, no. They go, okay, fine. That's it. They are not backing. Go look at r slash gaming, r slash PC gaming, any of those subreddits. Thousands, hundreds of thousands, maybe people don't own Star Citizen and have no intention of owning Star Citizen. Majority of the people that will play Star Citizen will only buy it when it is launched. Majority of of the people that will be playing Star Citizen will only buy the game after the launch. Cyberpunk sold, was it 13 million copies? Cyberpunk made about 500 to 600 million dollars on release. Majority of the money that Star Citizen will make will be when Squadron 42 will be released, not now. Do you think they're gonna make 80 million dollars? No. Majority of the people that will be playing Star Citizen are not backing right now. They're waiting for the finished game. So that is a completely stupid, ridiculous take, Tyler. You should be embarrassed of yourself by just regurgitating those hot Reddit takes. And uh, I think, is that it? That's it. So yeah, guys, again, very disappointed. No one told me, but I'm also proud to say that Massively OP isn't running for my very real golden urinal award. (laughs) Uh, for the month of January, we'll see if someone else can beat this. If not, then uh, I think they're definitely in the running for that. But guys, if you are enjoying my content, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Your comments below. Always appreciate it. I'll catch you in the next one.